Well, it's the first Sunday of the new year. Uh, my hat is off to all of you who've made it here. You know, this is typically one of those low Sundays, but I see we're all still good Presbyterians. The front row is still empty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the spades are in the back row. They come early just to take the back row. They are the best Presbyterians. You know, one day you're going to have to surprise me and move up a little bit. Anyways, I wanted to share that. It's good to be back. As many of you know, on Christmas morning, I flew out and to be with my family in Dallas. The best kept secret in the world is to fly on Christmas Day. I will tell you, at 5 o'clock in the morning, as I am driving down the 295 and on the 95, there was not another car on the road on Christmas morning. I pulled up to the Jacksonville airport to park my car. The shuttle was right there waiting for me. I was the only one on the shuttle from the parking garage to the airport. I walked in the airport. It was kind of creepy. There was nobody there. It was empty. I walked up to security, and they said, don't bother taking off your shoes. Just walk right through. All right, I'm thinking, oh, there's something wrong here. And then I get on the flight, and there's my whole row of three to myself. I have a whole row to myself. Best kept secret, fly on Christmas Day because no one else is doing it. (laughs) Guess where I'm going on vacation now? I'm leaving on Christmas Day, I've decided. I will fly on Christmas Day. It was wonderful. Had a great flight, got to Dallas in in two hours, and spent Christmas uh, Day with the family. Had a wonderful time, great food. And Christmas evening, about 5.30, I am taking out the garbage. You know, after you eat, you have all the bows and all the garbage. Anyone else have a lot of wrapping and garbage, or was it only at my house? Come on, raise your hands. Was it me on the only house with it? No? I want to come to some of your houses that don't have any wrapping. You know, you didn't have anything to clean up. Nothing to clean up at your house, Cedric? Nothing? You weren't here. Ah, there's the secret. Okay. You see, and I was taking out the wrappings. I had two big black garbage bags, and I am going out and back to put my garbage in the can. And there's my neighbor hauling out his tree, his live tree. He's hauling it out. It's December 25th. It's Christmas Day. And there is Steve with his tree, and he plopped it down. You know, so I say, Merry Christmas. And he says, I'm so glad Christmas is over. I'm saying, "Um, I think it's still the 25th in my book. It's, It's still Christmas Day. I'm still saying, great, Jesus is born. He says, I just can't wait to put the house back to normal and get rid of this Christmas stuff. I'm done with Christmas. I said, oh. Did your wife and kids feel the same way about this? Thinking I might be opening opening a can of worms. And his wife comes outside with all her wrappings and says, Oh, thank God Christmas is over. Can't wait for things to go back the way they were. And I kind of scratched my head and went, Are things supposed to go back the way they were? And what does that really mean? But I left that alone and went back in to enjoy my family. And then the next morning, on the 26th, I got up early, and I had my coffee, and I went out front at 7 o'clock in the morning, beautiful morning, and the neighbor boy got a big wheel for Christmas. Does anyone anyone remember big wheels? Oh, yeah, those are great, the big front wheel. You go tearing down the street, and they make a lot of noise, don't they? Oh, yeah. And he is riding this big wheel past me. He's five years old, and he is singing on the top of his lungs, 7 o'clock in the morning. Hark the herald angels sing, Gloria. He's having a great time. I know. Doesn't that sound great? Can I join choir, Christy? Can I go? Yeah, baby. All right. Woo. But that's what this little boy was doing. He was singing the top of his lungs. It sounded horrible. The big wheels making noise. And I'm just smiling, thinking it's the greatest morning. And his mom's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's so loud. And she said, oh, I'm so sorry. He's still singing Christmas songs. I went, What? It's the 26th. And she says, well, Christmas is behind us. What's wrong with these people in Dallas? What is wrong? They're taking their tree out on Christmas Day. Another mother is telling her child, don't sing Christmas carols the day after Christmas because Christmas is over. Is Christmas really over that quick? I know some people are excited to get all their decorations down out of their house. I know we already have the church cleaned up already. But we had that elaborate stage we had to clean up. And some of you are saying, I can't wait to go home today after church because I'm taking down my Christmas stuff. 
Anna, is your Christmas stuff already down from your house? Oh, yes. I didn't even have it up, so. Right, what a Scrooge. Go to Dallas, man. Go to Dallas. <laughs> she didn't even put up any Christmas stuff. Man, I'm glad we didn't go to your house. Mary Kay, your house was decorated. My house looks like Valentine's. She's already got Valentine's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Overachiever right there. Okay. Overachiever. You're still cleaning. Yeah, that was a party I heard of the century over there at that house for New Year's. You see, people are already cleaning up for Christmas, getting ready for Valentine's Day. People are ready to move on. But I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to move on. I'm feeling like the shepherds in the scripture that Kaylee just read. If you are listening as she was reading that scripture, and she was saying that the shepherds, Remember, they were the first ones that the angel appeared to, and the shepherds are the ones that first went to see baby Jesus. Remember, the shepherds dropped everything they were doing, and they ran to go see the baby Jesus. They were excited to see the baby Jesus. And where we pick up the scripture when Kaylee was reading was that the, after the shepherds had seen the baby, they looked at the baby and went, oh, what a cute baby, what a handsome baby. Well, no, not you, but we'll go over here. <laughs> You know, they said, what a beautiful baby. The shepherds were excited. They saw the baby, and they went back to their fields. They went back to work. But did you catch what she read? When the shepherds went back to their work, they did it praising God. That's one of my favorite scriptures ever. Because the shepherds now saw the baby Jesus, and they went back to their normal life, but they had an attitude change. They went back excited about the baby. They went back glorifying God. That's what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to be like the shepherds. After Christmas, when we're cleaning up our Christmas stuff, we're supposed to do that, praising God, not going, thank goodness Christmas is over like my Scrooge neighbor. We're supposed to have this new attitude. Ask yourself, as you get ready to go back to work, and I know parents are excited, the kids are getting ready to go back to school on Wednesday. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, there's mom going, woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. All right, Stephen's going back to school, woohoo. Woo yes, see, that's a mom who's excited. <laughs> it's been wonderful having our kids home, and it's been a great holiday experience. Now we have to go back and do our mundane stuff again. So how do we take that Christ child into the new year with us? Well, it's in an attitude like the shepherds had. They still had to go back and attend to those sheep. They had fences, I'm sure, to mend. I'm sure they had fields to cultivate, because that's what shepherds do. But they went back with the attitude that, we're going to praise God why we do this. And as we go back to our mundane jobs, if your job is mundane, you've got to go back praising God. You've got to go back with a good attitude. Think about it. As the new year starts, do you have a good attitude? Do you have an attitude that the shepherds have? Anna, I know you do. You always have a good attitude. She may have no Christmas stuff up at her house, but she has a good attitude. The shepherds went back praising God, and I think that's what we need to do too. And I'm going to challenge each of us this next week and this next year that every day praise God for five things that God has done for you. Has God done five things for you in a day? Can you look back on your day and think of something that God may have done for you? You know, Christy, has God done anything for you today? Absolutely. Absolutely. How has Sean, has God done anything for you today? I woke up. He woke up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are reasons to praise God. And these are the attitudes that we have to take into the new year, is to praise God in everything that we're doing. That's what the shepherds did. And yes, it is a very simple message, but that's what we're supposed to do. Have the good attitude. Let me hear a good attitude. Sean, can I get a woohoo out of you? Woo oh, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, Sean. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> See, David Christian's not here today to give me the amen, so I need you to do that for me. All right. Let me hear a woohoo out of you three. Come on. Woohoo! Yeah, that's a great. All right. That is a group that's going to be praising God. Over here. Come on, ladies. Let's, pr let's get a woohoo. What <laughs> really show them how it is done actually come on woo -hoo, woo -hoo. yeah this is it all right don't laugh in the back row all right gentlemen come on let's hear your woohoo come woo -hoo. yeah all right you got your football voice on for today too don't you all right praising god these are the attitudes we're supposed to have as we go into the new year this is what the shepherds had let's hear a wahoo a woohoo from all of us let's go woohoo woo -hoo. 
Amen. That's the way we're supposed to go into the new year. Let's be happy. Let's take that attitude. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you so much for the Christ child. We are so thankful that the baby came into the world and is changing our world. We thank you for the shepherd's attitudes that we can learn so much from them. They went back to their mundane jobs, but praising you. And God, as we go back to our daily jobs, help us today and every day to praise you. Amen.